friends welcome to my channel electrical master this video we are going to discuss about how to read the 11 kb switch gear sld diagram so if you are visiting my channel first time please subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell icon then you will never miss our update videos let's go to the video actually this video i am making because of our one of our subscriber request me to make this uh, SLD diagram how to uh, easily we can read that SLD diagrams so we will see that SLD diagram is this SLD for the 11 kb switch here uh, actually I took it from the one of the substation from the 11 kb it is coming from the input generator directly feeding the supply to the transformer so you can see this drawing maybe you will little get confused why uh, there are using lot of uh, relays uh, ct pts and maybe you will get little confused but don't worry i will make this video very simple easily we will understand how to read this basic sld's okay for detail uh, each about relays and uh, ct i will make a separate video then it will be helpful for you understanding let us see, uh, I already told this uh, substation will receive the power from the generator. So let us consider there will be two generators are here. So generator 1 here and generator 2 is here. Okay. Each generator is feeding the power supply is 11 kV to the 11 kV switch gear. This is our 11 kV switch gear bus pass. Green color you can see. This is 11 kV switch gear. Uh, you can see that uh, nameplate uh, ratings 11 kV, 3 phase. 3 wire 50 hertz and bus bar capacity 800 amperes short circuit capacity is 25 kilo ampere per 3 second this section it is a bus a section you can see here up to this section bus a in between there will be bus coupler and this section it will be a bus b we know bus coupler it is used to connect both bus a and the bus b section that is why we are using bus coupler in the switch gear so now we will see the incomer. This is the incomer 1 and this line is incomer 2. Both is connected to our the uh, bus cup 11 kV switch gear panel. So bus incomer 1 is connected to the switch gear panel number 1. You can see here 1. Similarly incomer 2 it is connected to the panel number 6. Got it? So now it is easily understand incomer where it is connected. So rest of the things all are going to connect to the outgoing feeders. Okay, now, now we will see how the incomers is connected to the switch gears. See, from the generator source, 11 kV, it is directly taken out. It is going to connect, that is, will be VCBs. VCB is nothing but vacuum circuit breaker. Okay, why we are using VCB here uh, instead of ACB? Because wherever you are handling high voltage above 1000 k voltage you have to use vcb vcb is the better and safer for using higher voltages acb only we are using the below voltage below 1000 volt like 440 volt we can prefer for the acbs okay clear now the vcb you can see here this vacuum circuit breaker whenever the breaker is close then this feeding the power to the incomer 1. So 1, it means bus A section completely will be energized. When bus coupler is closed condition, that same power will flow into the bus B section also. Okay, that's why we are using bus coupler. Similarly, incomer 2, you can see directly it is feeding to the VCB. So vacuum circuit breaker is closed, then it will be connected to the incomer number 2 to the panel number 6. So bus B will be completely energized. So now we will understand how the incomers are connected to the switch gear panels. Then now we will see why they are connecting the CTPT and uh, um, measuring device. What is the function? So now we want to understand whether the generator is producing the power perfectly. It's reached to our incomer panel or um, it's maybe it is having some surge voltages or low voltages whatever the problem is there or not we need to identify that is the purpose we are using here the relays and ctpt and measuring equipments see here from the line 
first uh, that 11 kV is coming the same cable we are connected one fuse along with the voltage transformer also it is called VT okay three phase VT we are connected here from the 11 kV it is stepped down into 110 volt three phase okay that 110 volt further it is taken out it is connected with the one MCB and it is going to connect voltage selector switch and voltage so now you can just close this MCB it will sense the line voltage how much it is present whether it is 11 kV is coming then the secondary side you can receive the voltage meter 11 kV it will show whenever the voltage is getting down it will show the voltage uh, variations so easily we can measure that high voltage with uh, this uh, transformer to the easily we can connect it with our voltmeter similar you can see here CT we are connected in the same line the CT downside you can see three numbers are written it means three CTs are connected because the power supply cable always coming ROIB so we, we need to connect individual CT R phase, Y phase, blue phase we are connected for understanding the drawing they simply put three numbers you can see the CTs uh, what is the purpose of this CT easily you can understand the CT is whether it is for the protection or measurement wherever you can see the class 1 CL1 it means it is used for the measuring purpose ok nothing for protection so you can easily find class 1 means it is a measuring CT and this what is a 15 VA this 15 VA nothing but a CT burden ok then the CT rating CT ratio is 600 amp per 1 ampere 600 per 1 ampere means whenever the primary side 600 ampere it is coming second side it will show 1 amps so like that it will connect it to the ammeter so ammeter it will show 0 to 600 ampere secondary side 1 ampere will come means it will show 600 ampere in the ammeter and also it is connected to the kilowatt meter kilowatt meter we know power it's equal to voltage into current so it's need two input current input from this CT it will provide and voltage input it is getting from the voltage transformer clear and same line power 11 kV it is further extended to another CT this CT it, will, it is used for the protection how I will find this is protection very simple you can see the class 5P10 wherever you can see the CT P numbers P means it is a protection P for protection so 5P10 it is a protection CT similarly same burden receive 15 volt ampere and CT ratio also same 600 bar 1 ampere so secondary volt uh, secondary line it is connected to the relay so we know it's a protection purpose of CT means it should be connected to the relay only so relay will connected here this 67 relay it is used for the directional at fault and it is required voltage input also so the voltage input it is taking from the transformer I see here voltage transformer is connected to the 67 similarly same current input further extended to another relay 67N 67N means directional earth fault is a directional over current here directional earth fault why this relays we are using here this relay using the purpose of to protect our PCB whenever the over current will come this relays will sense and give the input to the 86 relay 86 relay it is called a master relay and this relay will trip the VCB ok so normally uh, relay uh, the 11 kV is coming further here it will connect it to another CT that is for the 87F relay 87 relay means it is a differential relay um, differential relay protection it is a big scheme um, for the general uh, idea we you will understand it is protect for the difference in the voltage like uh, generator produced voltage and the receiving end voltage both are same or different for the purpose only we are using differential relay for the differential relay detail I will show in the next video ok just you will understand the idea so where, where is the difference between uh, generating side and receiving side in this relay will sense and it is giving the feedback to the 86 relay same so it will to the PCB whenever it, there will be difference so if there is no difference the same 11 kV will come to VCB so VCB now it is uh, waiting for the command to close and to open how the VCBs are functioning opening and closing and tripping all are already we made a separate video for the VCB working if you do not watch that video 
just click this i button you will get the link otherwise i will give the link in the description also okay so the now the breaker is closed just just consider the voltage will be flow into the panel number one so from the panel number one the complete 11 kb switch gear bus will be energized bus a will be energized the same dicto copies from the incomer 2 you can see here so the incomer 2 will be connected in the number 6 it will also provide the same 11 kb and 800 amperes current both the incomer will connected in parallel so you will understand here the basic concept wherever if you are connecting uh, voltages or cable to the parallel parallel connection current will be increase voltage will be same that is the concept we are connecting both the incomer in parallel connection if we are connecting number of incomer in parallel there will be no difference in the voltage you will receive the voltage only 11 kvs but current will be added so here 800 ampere means uh, this side also will be 800 so it will be like 1600 ampere it will be capacity but bus bar they design the capacity only for the 800 amps why it they are designed 800 ampere means they already uh, know the outgoing loads how much they are going to connect the outgoing loads based on that only they will design the bus bar capacity so they needed only less than 800 amperes that's why they shooted 800 amps so load will be less got it fine so now we finish how to read the income bus and how it is the uh, bus bus bar is connected and switch gear bus bar is connected we finish it incomer b if you are seeing a uh, little bit changes same uh, additionally they added some more relays like 51 say, and 74 same thing 51 user for the uh, over current relay idmt over current relay and idmt earth fault directional over current directional earth fault 74 for the uh, supervising relay okay relay super, um, trip supervising relay tcs relay 74 so don't worry the, about the relay and the relay numbers that is a different uh, we will make separate video only for the relay what is the uh, relay and the numbers which number it is used for the which purpose we will separate video but this video we will understand the basic concept okay fine so now we will see here uh, the outgoing feeders you can see the remaining outgoing feeders number 3 5 7 9 11 13 similarly this side 4 6 and 8 these all are going to the outgoing feeder of the 11 kv switch gear now with this uh, outgoing feeder whether it is going to connect another transformer maybe step down that 11 kv into 440 volt or 3.3 kv or 6.6 kv based on our purpose or sometimes this 11 kv directly feed to the motors 11 kv motors directly it is feeding okay see for example i will take number seven okay from the outgoing feeder number seven it is also going to connect one vcb so there will be why we are using vcb here this is 11 kv high voltage that's why we are choosing vcb the rating current will be same 630 amperes three pole then the vcb if it is close then the power supply will feed to the load before that there will be they put ct here and uh, two ct they will be used why these cts were connected because of protection and measurement you can see here measurement it will show outgoing feeder whether it is having the same 11 kv or not and uh, similarly they have to measure how much current this 11 kv feeder seventh feeder is consuming for understanding only they have to put a meter here i already told if it is measuring means class one will be used so a meter starter switch a meter will show how much its current is consuming and this said protection ct ip10 it will be connected to the relays I already told 50 instantaneous relay, uh, 51 over current relay, earth fault, similarly over current earth fault, IDMT earth fault, motor stalling relay. So 95 means it is used for the purpose of uh, motor, so motor stalling relays. And it is all the relay, the whatever the relays are sensing, whether it is any uh, abnormal condition, it is giving the input to the 86 you have to uh, keep the mind 86 is the important relay that is the master relay any relay will sense any fault it will give the input to the 86 relay only because 86 relay only having that uh, capacity or ability to trip the incomer breaker vcb that is why all the relays 
all the protection device connected to the 86 only 86 only once it's activate it will give the command to trip signal of the bcp okay similarly you can see all the outgoing feeders the same concept will be taken that is the sld diagram you can easily understand i hope now you will be clear how to read the sld diagram okay uh, we will see another sld diagram that is for a 13.8 kv to 480 volt uh, shut down switch gears see here there will be two transformer there we will see two generator here two transformer from the two transformer uh, incomer primary side it will be a 13.8 kv and secondary side it will be 480 volt it is placed in the outside of the substation and capacity of this transformer is 1000 kva impedance value it is shown here 5.7 and this transformer primary side will be delta connection secondary side will be star and grounded you can see this symbol so similar here two incomer one and two so incomer one will be connected secondary side 480 volt will connected to the uh, circuit breaker and from the circuit breaker it is connected to the bus a side okay i already told wherever the voltage below 1000 volt they will be used only acb so here they use the acb so the acb capacity will be 1600 ampere current and the output voltage is 480 volt from uh, secondary uh, secondary set of voltage they connect to one ct only the ct uh, primary side will be uh, 1500 amps secondary side only 5 ampere so if the 5 ampere they will receive primary side will show the 1500 amps current ammeter meter and also they connect another whatever meter measurement and this same ct will help to provide the, um, the help to provide the voltage related things from the voltage measurement they connected uh, one fuse uh, from the fuse they use a step down transformer 480 volt to 110, 120 volt the 120 volt secondary if it is received it will show the um, voltage meter in 480 volts okay same setup in the income 2 you can see here whatever i explained the same setup so bus a section this is bus b section in between there will be bus coupler when bus coupler close this both bus a and bus b will be connected and you can see it's connected in parallel so voltage will be common for all bus a and bus b 480 volt only current will be 1200 amperes okay that is the bus bar capacity current they designed so downside you can see the outgoing feeder um, one feeder is going for the transformer i told the purpose you can see it is for the transformer the symbol like this it is for the transformer and they are connected with the acb again 200 amperes acb and it's going to the transformer transformer is for 482 120 volt secondary side also delta and the star connection star grounded another 480 volt and a 200 ampere acb it is going to connect the 150 hv motor 480 volt hv motors and also the another one is going for the feeder number one feeder number two feeder number three further outgoing loads are they are connected so like that way you have to read the sld diagram in electrical i hope now you will understand how to read the electrical drawings electrical 11 kb or whatever 3.3 6.6 6 kb or 440 volt sld how to read you will understand if you have any doubt just write it in the comment box and if you want to like any more videos about uh, CT and Relay also, you can write it. I will make a separate video for that. I hope you will understand and you will like this video. Please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.